Hey there, this is Lucy with Cheers to Blogging. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create your very own gift guide in Canva for your blog post. One that you can use as a social media graphic or as a click worthy Pinterest pin. So let's go ahead and dive right in because I promise you, you're going to get these done in just a few minutes. So the first thing you want to do is already have the images ready for the products that you're going to be promoting in your gift guide. You can typically find these in your affiliate networking portal, but if not, do reach out to the affiliate manager and request permission to use certain product images. That way you're avoiding any kind of legal trouble because you do not and you should not be copying images straight from the websites. Now, my disclaimer is I am not a lawyer, <laughs> but I don't want you to get into legal trouble. So that is my suggestion. If you don't know where to find pictures for the products that you are using, reach out to the affiliate manager as the very first step to see if they can support you on this. Now, once you already have the images loaded in Canva, you'll start by creating your title. So for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it quite simple and just say gift guide for busy moms. Now I'm going to edit the text and you can use whatever text you would like. It could either be your branded fonts or it can be something more fun depending on who the gift guide is for. You can put it at the top, you can put it at the bottom. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep the title in the middle. So to add in the product images, we're gonna go down to grid and depending on how many products you are promoting in your gift guide or how many you want to include on the page on the graphic will depend how many of these grids you add into your blog post. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it at six products that I'm promoting. So I'm going to size these a little bit smaller than I'm going to copy and paste. So I've sized it. Ah, Come on, copy and paste. Okay, it's not working for me. Normally you can just copy and paste it. Okay, now that I have my grids in there, I'm gonna go back to my images and I'm literally just gonna start plugging them in. Once you've plugged them in, then we can go back and resize and try to make them look all nice and pretty. Now, one thing to point out is that you do want to make sure that they are on a nice, pretty white background. And I'll show you what to do when you don't have a white background as the product image. So for example, this one here, I definitely cannot <laughs> use this image as is, as it doesn't kind of fit the aesthetic. It doesn't look nice and clean. So what you'll do is you'll select the image, you'll go to edit image and remove the background. This is going to take away what's in the back and just turn it white. So there you go. That was a few seconds. It only took a few seconds to do that. Now I have all the products that I'm promoting on here. What I could do next is double click on these images and start sizing them. So I'll size them to make it a little bit bigger to fill up the white space on this gift guide. Let's try to center that a little bit. So I'm just really quickly going through here and sizing these images and trying to align them a little bit better. I think that's good. Now to make this stand out a little bit more, I'm going to add a background to the title. That way the focus can be drawn into here and anyone that's looking for gift ideas for busy moms will be able to see 
exactly what that this is it. <laughs> they don't have to look any further. All right, so I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to align these a little bit closer and make sure it's centered just by moving everything around. Now, the other thing you can do to give it a little bit more oomph is adding some other elements like some pretty borders. And there's so many that you can pick from. All you have to do is go up here to Canva. You can type in borders. You can type in lines. If you're if you, if it's Valentine's Day, you can type in a heart border. And let's see what pops up. I actually haven't tried it. Oh, that's pretty. So let's do that. So if we do this one. I'm just making a copy. Let's say this is for Valentine's Day, and using a border like this would actually turn this pin into a video pin, which Pinterest is loving these days. Let's turn this into red. That's too much red. <laughs> Let's turn it into like a light pink. Light pink. Something like that. I'm still not feeling that pink, but you get the idea. <laughs> You'll play around with it. So you could use one of these animated elements and that turns that graphic into a video pin. Another way to turn something like this into a video pin is by creating more than one. So you can create more than one of the gift guide so for example, if you have more items, then you could essentially use one of these as the cover page. And let's make this a little bit bigger. You could use this, like I said, let's turn it into a cover page for your gift guide. You can animate it to make it kind of come in. And then these down here will be, let's do same thing. Let's do the same thing, breathe. All right, now let's download two and three as an MP4 and see what that would look like as a video. Pin two and three. Let's see. So let's give it a minute and it's going to download. And then I'm going to show you how I easily and quickly turned that into a video pin. Now, while we're waiting for that to load, I do want to mention that down below, I have also created a blog post where I'm giving you tips on what to include in the actual content of your gift guide. So where to promote it, how to structure it, where to find these product images that you're going to be promoting and etc. So if you're wanting more tips on really turning this blog post gift guide of yours into something that can actually bring you money every holiday season, make sure to check out the blog post below. Now, this is downloaded, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how it came out. So, there it is. Hopefully it didn't get too cut off there for you to see. But that's it, it's super easy. Now you can make this with so many more products. You can make it a lot prettier with different elements. But the idea is you use grids. <laughs> you use a grid to enter in these product images and just make sure that it's on a white background. Those are the two key things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the blog post below. And if you are not a Canva user yet, then what are you waiting for? You can sign up for a free trial using my link below. So I hope to see your gift guides popping in into my Pinterest feed 
sometime soon. Until next time, and cheers to blogging. Bye!